Welcome to Feng Shui the Easiest Way. I will walk from room to room in my home and other people's homes. I bet you think you're going to see Chinese trinket shops and Chinese things hanging and sitting everywhere. You won't. I'm not Chinese. Oh, the Chinese did the research. They researched for literally thousands and thousands of years. And boy, they're good at research. They not only researched energy in the home, they researched energy everywhere, in the body. There are meridians that go through your body. There's the inner energy, the life force, what they call chi. That's the life force that comes into your home. You know, they found it was so important in affecting people's lives that they didn't want to share it. The emperors wanted to keep it to themselves and the common people couldn't know about it at the peril of death. Well, we know about it now and I want to share it with you. And if you're not Chinese, we'll just use the things around your home, the things that are in your vibration that you're comfortable with, your energy. You see, it's about that energy that the nature brings into your home and connecting with it by putting an element, that element that's the same energy, to bring it to you. If it's abundance or health or relationships, or it's about putting an energy, an element of nature, fire, water, earth, metal, wood, there so that you can calm it, so that it won't affect you in a major way. And that energy comes in at different times. I tell you every year about a new energy that comes in for the year. And the Chinese people are very symbolic. They actually name those years according to animals, just to give us an idea of what kind of energy it is. And then there's a different energy that comes in every month. And I tell you about that. And so not only do I tell you to put a crystal from the earth or a bubbling fountain for water, but I also tell you that that same energy and vibration can be used when you use different colors to activate or to cure the energies in your own, even shapes. You see, everything has energy. You have energy and you're constantly exchanging that energy with people and things around you. Science shows that within literally five to six seconds when you walk into a room, you feel that energy. You've connected with it. You either feel calm and relaxed and comfortable and peaceful and focused and protected and secure, or you feel different from that. You're on edge. You're worried. You don't feel comfortable. There's something wrong. You're just depressed. There's always the feeling that has to do with what's around you, the energy from people and things. It's very simple. When you walk through with me, I want you to have fun. Take your time. You'll enjoy it. You notice the monthly energy about nine days into it. That's why right away you want to activate it or cure it. And when it comes to the yearly, it definitely will be affecting you by the ninth month. So I want to tell you there's a 20-year energy. That 20-year is something that's based on the very compass direction of your front door. And I have to do that with the map. So if you're interested in that, and if you're going to be that home for 20 years, or even for a while, because nine years into it, you'll see it affects you. I didn't have feng shui nine years into my home, and it burned down. I was sleeping in a, in a room with disaster. On the ninth year, it burned down, and things started to go bad. I started to get a divorce. But you know what? When you cure bad energies, then something that's bad can just be small. And something that's good can be fantastic. Get extra money back from the IRS. Get inheritances. 
opportunities open up when you use the energy to activate or cure what nature brings in naturally into your home. Come on, let's go.